You guys ready for this? Truck's ready. It's locked up. Got cameras galore. I got fly rods. We've got September, and we've got one of my, I have lots of favorite rivers, my friends, but we've got a river that means a lot to me in resemblance to life, and that's the Animus. And that is where we are here today to get some fly fishing therapy on. I got a haircut, I'm feeling good. The sun is out, It's the trees are starting to change. We finally get to put a fishing episode together here, my friends, a fishing video. I can't wait. Look at all this foam. Look at all this behind me, my friends. It is just a spectacle of awesomeness. Foam lines, rocks. I've got the Euronymphian rig, and then I've got my, look at this. I got two Vespers, people, okay? I brought out the big guns for today because this really means something, okay? This is serious business, what we're doing here right now. So I brought the big guns out because it's been a while. Let's celebrate. Let's enjoy life. Let's see if we can go find some fish to put in the net Stand by my friends like that my friends. He took that's an look at that action took that That's awesome First cast that's always a little spooky though looks like it's a rainbow Check this out. He came out and nailed it Howdy friend Let me come and take a look at you there. Mr. Mr. Acrobatic. Oh, yeah Look at the spots on that guy Healthy and beautiful. See you later, senor. Thank you very much. Oh man, that was a hit and a half. And I was sleeping. <laughs> you guys need just a little bit more water and it'd be perfect. I can get out of your way too if you need a different route. Perfect. I can get out of your way too if you need a different route. There's one on the Euro. That's a little guy. Come here there, buddy. Took the oh, took the caddis, huh? Thank you very much. You're cool. All right, send you back home to grow a little more, buddy. Thank you very much. Rainbow there. Took this little caddis emerger thing. I think, can't remember exactly what it's called, fellers. But uh, as far as my setup for the Euro rig, we've got one on the uh, hopper dropper. So there's my anchor fly. So that's my last fly down on the bottom dragon butt. I got a little bit more weight for these uh, faster pockets. So there's that kryptonite emerger. I think it might be a kryptonite caddis. And then from there, I've got just this little prince nymph. And uh, it's a good searching pattern. I really like it. Um, well spread out, about a foot apart from each one. And uh, just, yeah, good search pattern. So I really like it until I figure out what exactly they're gonna be kinda smashing down on and then we can refine from there. This is a nice little setup. We got several different riffles that are coming down here into this real deep hole so nice feeder lanes beauty about the old euro nymphian rig is you can get yourself unsnagged pretty quick i think what i'm gonna do being we got one out of here with the euro rig i'm gonna go grab the hopper dropper and give that a shot my friends After right there, boys. It's a nice fish. 
I don't play. Man, they are super strong. Nice. That's a nice rainbow there. We will take that all day long. Took the our one and only my friend that's so good right, bud, come here. So the water is real low and clear like this you have to use what nature gives you for camouflage so the sun's going back down behind our right side here so I'm just using these trees to keep me tucked in the shadows and uh, that nice little rainbow took the hairs here which is my it's a favorite fly here this setup this late in the this late in the year works out really well um so i was just standing over there on the other side with the euro nymphing rig and knew that there's probably a potential for a little bit better fishing here and sure enough voila my friends we moved another one let's give her a couple more tries before we move on down river going backwards today going old school Guys, I figure I probably better get you caught up in all the happenings here, and we're not sure if this will be the last Colorado River for the season, but it is shaping up to be that way. China virus has changed the way of life, but it's changed the way of life in a good way, so I can focus on my health and focus on my family, and I don't have to worry about the hustle and bustle of Denver. With that said, my friend, the channel is going to continue. I, this, is, this is what I do. This is what I love to do. I love to edit and film and be out here and, and sharing this and, and sharing the journey with Lyme disease. So the biggest part of this is the journey with Lyme disease. And uh, it's time to uh, get after it, my friends. And there is no more messing around. We've got to do this once and for all. And we've got to commit to what the doctors are saying. And I've got to simplify my life. And that really is all there is to it and to come down to it. So we are tiny home living. We've completely downsized um, into a 35 foot travel trailer. And so that is really exciting. I'm really proud of my family for that and what we're doing and what we've accomplished and that we're able to do this. And I've got a lot of good people in my corner and uh, just got a lot of great things that have happened that have taken place and it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the China virus, my friends, truthfully. Truth be told, I'd kept going and most likely have not made it and survived it because I would have worn my body out and all the energy and everything that the good Lord has given me and what the universe has given me here to uh, take care of myself. And so with that said, my friend, um, like I said, I'm not sure if this will be the last river. I'm hoping I got one more weekend here in uh, Colorado before we head south to Arizona and uh, hopefully I can find some bass or something we can film and some kind of fish we can put in the net. I'm looking forward to that adventure and that journey. Um, I've just got to get over this Lyme disease and I got to make a good push the next six to eight months and the doctors need me in a place that's warm and dry and uh, there's not really any better place than Arizona. So that's where we're going to be and what's happening and um, I've been working on the channel behind the scenes to get stuff set up and changed. So be seeing a new face coming to the channel which I'm really excited for. but. For the most part, my friends, I got to say thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you for supporting this channel in Colorado. And I know that's a lot of the stuff we fish is Colorado and the majority of it, but there's a lot of water out there in the world and we're going to explore it and fish it and enjoy it. And we're going to heal and recover and take care of business and take care of life, take care of the family. And that's what's got to be done. And that is what I'm going to do. Our little community here at Beyond the Fly will hopefully keep growing and we'll, we'll have fun and learn stuff and I'll pass as much knowledge as I can down. And, but yeah, I just gotta give a big shout out to all you supporting it and, and sticking behind the channel and staying here with me. I know I don't get a lot of videos up this year. It has been out of control with uh, moving and downsizing and work and trying to take care of myself and going up to Oregon to see doctors and flying. It's just been out of control. So with that, my friends, I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for watching this episode from the Animus River over by Durango, Colorado. It has been an absolute joy and a blessing. My friends, we will see you in the next one.